with the front brakes. In my case, I am putting it all back together again. First thing I want to do is make sure the hub is all nice and clean and there's no debris on there, which we could cockle over the disc. On the front disc, you do not have an ABS ring because the ABS ring is on the hub itself. So it's just a case of fitting your disc onto the hub, lining up the wheel bolt holes. I'm going to lock my disc into place using a bolt. You may have a different bolt because I've had to uh, chop my end off. It well, did have a cone headed bolt previously when I had my old wheels. Just in case putting the bolt in there just to keep the disc into pos position. So the bolt holes are lined up. Tighten up that bolt there. That's now nice and tight and all the bolt holes are lined up. Next stage is to fit the saddle. Just turn the steering bit this way. Oh, there we have it. Now I have pre-lubed up my saddle using the Pro Slip grease. I did go sparingly with it, I didn't go stupid. In the Pro Slip grease there are three different types of grease for your brakes. It does explain on the back of the packet what each grease does. So this has already been pre-lubricated. And I believe it's a 22 milli headed M12 bolt. That wants that you use to anchor your brake caliper saddle onto the hub with. Let's tighten them up. Do the bottom one as well. I think it must build up on that bolt. Just gonna give them a further nip. Same with the bottom one. Of course I will, if I can find them, I will leave the torque settings for these bolts. There we go. Next stage, fit the pads. Remember I've already pre-lubricated the saddle with clip grease. On the back of the pads I've used pad grease. Yet again, used sparingly, you don't need a lot upon your pads. It's just a case of fitting your pads or sitting them within your saddle, like so. Next stage, the caliper. Now I have used a bit more lubricant on the sliders for you, and I've used pin grease out of that Pro Slip grease packet and I've also fitted the clip that sits with inside the caliper which presses down onto your pads and as I said before because I've had this off before I'm going to have to reconnect it to my brake pipe which is going to be a bit fiddly once it's started it's all okay, it's okay. There we have it, started now. Then it's just a case of sliding your caliper over your brake pads. Like so.
your anchor bolt for your caliper, which goes for your sliders. You may need a slight adjustment. There we are. Try and get the top one in first. And they are, I believe they're 8mm, no sorry, 6mm headed bolts, Allen key bolts. So get the top one started first. Bottom one. Get that started as well. Now of course you may have some brake wear indicators within your pads. I've removed mine and just connected the wires up that follow down this pipe here. I've connected both ends of the wires up and just tucked away within the chassis rail somewhere because they don't last five minutes. Give you a bit of an headache when you've got the uh, brake worn, low warning pad light on your dashboard so I've got rid of it. That's why I don't have the brake wear indicators upon my di my uh, pads. Give that a bit of a nip. Same with the bottom one. <sighs> Double check that top one again. Yeah it's tight. I'm going to tighten up that brake pipe that I've had off. I brought the wrong bloody but, uh, spanner. I'm going to get the right one. Right spanner this time. 14 mil headed brake pipe. There you go, that's tight again now. I'm going to release my brake pipe clamp and put me in my dust caps on my sliders and that's it just put my just connect my ABS wire Tidy that up in a bit. But that's it. Next stage is to bleed all of the brakes. And it's pretty much the same way you would fit the rear brake calipers as you would on the front. The only difference is these calipers are self adjusting. On the back of the caliper, there's the handbrake lever. If you work the handbrake lever once you've fitted the caliper onto the saddle, it should adjust the piston inside the caliper closing up the air gap between the piston and the pads. If it doesn't do that your caliper's knackered. Second stage is to hook on your handbrake cable onto the handbrake lever. Once that's hooked on you can move on and insert the handbrake lever cable out of sleeving into its holding position that is bolted onto the caliper. Don't forget to insert the circlip that holds the handbrake cable into position. Once you've done that, you can go underneath and adjust your handbrake cable. Now for me, I do like a long throw upon my handbrake lever. So it's just pulling a little bit more cable through the sleeving of the handbrake. I have lubricated it. It does prevent the handbrake cable from seizing up within the handbrake cable sleeve. Just one more thing about the rear brakes upon the IV code daily. If you do have ABS and you are replacing the brake discs, make sure those rear brake discs have the ABS ring upon them. I did buy the wrong type. 